Well, as you can see, we've got the engine turned over now. We've got the sump up and the, this little video will just show you a couple of things about taking the sump off. Very basic job. Now, these bolts down the side here, you'll need a half inch socket for those. And you just undo down the sides. One, two, three long ones and three short ones. So look, that's, that's simple, basic. There's not much more. I can actually tell you about that, um, apart from that I need to get a pot to put these bolts in. Now, at the back here, I'll come around the camera a little bit. Now, at the back here you have your rear engine oil seal, and this is a, a rope seal. Now, you don't need to deal with any of this at the moment. The, um, where this circle is round here, around the outside there, there's a cork. and the cork does the sealing, so we don't need to deal with anything at the back here that it'll just come off. So yeah, if you can imagine that the tractor's still um, together in one piece and you have the backing plate here, you could undo these big bolts here and drop the sump down without actually splitting the tractor. And so there's no need to hop into these fellas. So that should just come straight off. Now, I'll take the camera around to the front. Okay, now, on the front, we have an alloy plate bolted to the sump, and there's a bolt either side that you still need a half inch socket to undo. And it's sort of the same setup as around the back there, where you don't have to undo all this to get it off. You, you'll undo that anyway, doing an engine rebuild, but if you look down inside here, you can see where there'll be a little cork in there. Um, I've still got to undo the bolt on the other side here, so we'll, we'll just run that off there like that. And so the back you don't need to do anything with. You do need to get these two front bolts. If you undone everything else and tried to get the sump off and left these in, you can just imagine how these little lugs would just love to break off on you. They're just sitting there waiting to. Um, so. Yeah, you don't necessarily need to do that. So if you've got the front axle pivot, which bolts on here, if you've got the front axle pivot forward enough out of the way, you have to have it away enough to clear this so it's not a straight run down. And the best idea is just to pull the whole front right out of the way. But we'll shift the camera around to the other side now and we'll just show you the bolts there. Okay, you can see I've got my favourite Renegade box. I buy these off of... Um, I bought these in town off um, the tool place and they're just a great little pot, trade tools I get them off. That's their own brand. And they seem to wear well, they have an oil pouring spout, but I, I buy them, they're about $6 each or something like that. <laughs> I just reckon they're a great thing. Okay, so down this side, um, this is the oil pump side, so, or the oil filter side, so when you're sitting on the tractor, this would be the right hand side. So once again, Three little, three big. I'll just rattle them off while you're here. This back one's on a bit of an angle. I shouldn't really do that, but, but I did. Don't tell anyone. Keep it between you and me. Neighbours don't need to know. There, so that's, I believe that's all the bolts. Um, on some of the smaller Perkins engine, there's bolts coming down through here and inside here, down. Oop, these bolts rolling around. Um, coming down through here, they're little sneaky ones, but we don't have that on this D302. Or 203, 302, that would be a V8, you'd go then, wouldn't it? So I believe all the bolts are undone now, so we have to get a bar or, or get something going just to come up and release it. There's no bolts coming down from the other way at all. So I'll grab a pry bar and there's a little section here. that we can get in under. Well, you would think we could get in under. I'll go back out 
I'll zoom you out a little bit just so you can see all the skullduggery we get up to with it. So around this side there's a little Oh, that's tight. There's nowhere really on the back to to get to it. Oh, hang on. There we go. There we go. There's all something. <laughs> like I say, if something doesn't go, you've got to have a real good look. Down in here. Where is it? There it is. That's why it sounded different. There's a little... There's a little stud with a nut coming out here that I hadn't... I hadn't thought about and that looks like it's 9 sixteenth it's funny when you take all the bolts out there things come apart for you that's a 9 sixteenth let's see if I can get in Get this little bracket out of the way. So that's just loosened off there. There we go. So there's a trap for new players <laughs> and old players that don't do this much. I leave all this stuff in my videos because if I'm having trouble, you might be too. Who knows? It's one of those bolts that's, you can't quite get it with your fingers. It feels too loose for your spanner. That'll be why it didn't sound quite right when we're trying to give him the bump. Because we hadn't bloody done our job properly. Okay, that's one side. It's got a little split washer there, spring washer that I can't seem to move. Oh, it'll come out. Okay, and the other one is just in here. Come on. Might roll him so I can see it a bit better. You might be able to see it a bit better too. I haven't got the buddy display round. I'll just turn it around so I can see what you can see. Come on out of there. 
Hasn't got enough room for the bloody spanner to get in properly. If we lift it a little bit, that might give us a bit more spanner room. I'll put that in there just for the spanner room. There we go. So there you go, if you really got into that sump and you didn't um, have a look around, it seems to go through the bottom of the timing cover here, so it would not be hard to wreck that timing cover. So there we go, that one's off. The spring wash has fallen down there. So we'll put that in the box while we're doing it. Okay. Now, I should be able to lift that off. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, that's the sump off. Nothing obvious we can see here, but I'll bring the camera over and I'll show you the front O-ring and the back cork seal here. Okay, at the back of the engine, there's a groove here and this is where that cork goes in and that's where that cork goes on the floor so that's what seals the sump onto the rear engine housing or the it'll be the rear main bearing housing sort of thing but that's what seals it there then when we move the camera to the front if I can do that what can you see there yeah you can see in here, there's the O-ring that seals on the front of the sump. So that little alloy cover that I took off, you don't need to take that off, but you do need to go to these bolts. Now, you can see where the sump bolts would have gone through here. And we have the timing cover there, and then we have a little line through here. And then this is the timing cover backing plate where it bolts onto the block. So. If you've got gung-ho and levered that out, that being alloy, you could wreck that in a flash. So there you go, that'll do um, for pulling the sump off. There's no, nothing obvious, no big chunks in the, chunks in the bottom or anything like that. So um, yeah, it's just, that's it. Dirty old engine there. Okay, that'll do for this video. Um, we'll go, we'll undo the oil pump and we'll have a look at a few things like that.